friends in this video we are going to solve a problem on the measurement of inductance using ohm's bridge so let us start with our problem <music> We are given an Ohm's bridge which is used to measure the properties of a sample of sheet uh, and this sheet is kept at 2 kilohertz of frequency. Now at the balance conditions the arm AB is the test specimen, arm BC is the resistance R3 which is 100 ohm, arm CD is the C4 capacitance 0 0.1 microfarad, arm DA is the resistance 834 ohms which is connected in series with the capacitor C2 that is 0 0.124 microfarad. Now we have to derive the balance conditions and calculate the effective impedance of the specimen under test. Now first of all we will draw the circuit for this Ohm's bridge. We are given the configurations of the various arms. So using that information we can draw the circuit for it. Arm um, AB is the test specimen. So we are using the Ohm's bridge for measuring the inductance. Okay. So here we will have a resistance and an inductor. This is the arm um, AB. Arm um, BC is the resistance of 100 ohm. Arm um, CD is the capacitor of 0 0.1 microfarad. And arm um, DA is a resistance and a capacitor. So these are R1, L1. This is R3, R2, C2 and this is C4. So this is the circuit for the bridge given to us in the question. We are given the values of R2, C2, C4 and R3 and we have to find out the value of R1 and L1. Now let us first write the impedances in the various arms. In this arm we will be having Z1. This is Z3, Z2 and Z4. Then we have to uh, derive the balance condition. So we know that at the balance, the general balance equation for an alternating current bridge is Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3. So first we will write the value of all the impedances here. Z1 is the series combination of a resistor and an inductor. You can see resistance and inductor they are connected in series with each other. So Z1 will be R1 plus J omega L1. Then we are having Z2. Z2 is the series combination of a resistor and a capacitor. So it will be R2 plus 1 upon J omega C2. Then we are having Z3. Z3 is the resistor only that is R3 and Z4 is the capacitor 1 upon J omega C4. So we have got the value of all the impedances. Now we are going to put these values in this uh, general balance equation for an AC bridge alternating current bridge. So Z1 is R1 plus J omega L1 multiplied with Z4 that is 1 upon J omega C4 then R2 that is uh, Z2 that is R2 plus 1 upon J omega C2 multiplied with Z3 that is R3. Now multiply them we will get R1 upon J omega C4 plus when we multiply this J omega and J omega they will be cancelled we are left with L1 upon C4. Here we will get R2 R3 plus R3 upon J omega C2. 
Now in this equation we are having various terms. Some of the terms are having only the real part and some terms are having the imaginary part. So we are going to equate the real parts and the imaginary parts separately. Equating the real parts that is L1 upon C4 equals to R2 R3. We will get L1 upon C4 equals to R2 R3. So we can say L1 is equals to R2 R3 C4. Now equating imaginary parts we will get R1 upon J omega C4 equals to R3 upon J omega C2. So again j omega j omega cancel so we will get the value of r1 as r1 will be r3 multiplied with c4 upon c2. So r3 c4 upon c2 that is the value of the resistance r1. Now in the question we have to derive the balance conditions also and then we have to calculate the effective impedance. So we have got the value, uh, we have the equations for R1 and L1 here. Now we are going to put the value of these variables and calculate the value of R1 and L1. Now R1 is equals to R3 C4 upon C2. R3 is given to us in the question as 100 ohms. C4 is given as 0.1 microfarad and C2 is given as 0.124 microfarad. So it will be 100 into 0.1 microfarad. So multiplied with minus 6, 10 raised to the power minus 6 and we are having 0.124 again microfarad. So multiplied with 10 raised to the power minus 6. It will be cancelled. So R1 will be equals to when we solve this we will get its value as 80.7 ohm. So we have got the value of the resistance R1. Now L1 is equals to R2, R3 and C4. So R2 is given to us in the question. It is given as 834 ohms. So 834. R3 is given as 100. And C4 is given as 0 0.1 microfarad. So multiplying it with 10 raised to the power minus 6. So L1 will come out to be 8.34 milli henrys. Okay. When we remove this, we will get 10. Then it will be 10 raised to the power uh, minus of 5. Then it will become 8.34 milli henrys. Okay. Now we have got L1 and R1. Now uh, in this first term AB because uh, both these uh, impedances they are uh, both these resistance and inductor they are connected in series with each other. So the value of Z1 we have written it as R1 plus 1 up, uh, plus J omega L1. Okay, R1 plus J omega L1. So we are going to find out this J omega L1 first. And this J omega L1, it is termed as X1. That is the inductive reactance. So the value of X1 is J omega L1. Now, Omega is what? 2 pi f then L1. So 2 into pi into frequency. Frequency is given to us in the question as 2 kilohertz. So it will be 2 because it's in kilohertz. So we have to convert it into hertz. So multiplying it with 1000. Then value of L1 is 8.34 milli henry. So 8.34 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. So X1 will come out to be 104.5. Now this is also an inductive reactant. So its unit will not be Henry. Its unit will be ohms. Okay. So X1 is there and R1 we already know that the value of R1 is 80.7 ohms. So if we want to calculate the 
impedance z1 it will be r1 plus the x1 that is the react uh, inductive reactance so we will take under root of it under root square of uh, that is r square r1 square plus x1 square so it will be under root of value of r1 is 80.7 and x1 we have calculated 104.5 square so when we take it uh, squares of both these terms and then under root we will get z1 as 132 ohms so in the question we were asked that we have to derive first the balance conditions and then calculate the effective impedance of the specimen under test so we have first derive the equations balance conditions from that balance condition we have got the value of r1 and l1 we calculated the resistances r1 and l1 and then we calculated the effective impedance of the uh, specimen so uh, in this way we can solve the problems which are based on the measurement of inductance using the ohms bridge and i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you